Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's one of those times of the day. You know how I always start out. I hope you all are having a great day. Um, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, make it a great day. Even if it's evening, the day ain't over until after midnight. Have a great day. So welcome, welcome new people, welcome old people, hopefully a whole lot of more people. Um, this is the channel of the way and I say we are the tribe and we are people of the way which is the way is Jesus is the way um, so welcome 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 I had to change locations oh first okay y'all know I'm wearing it until till till she do what she has to do Jasmine Lee C music okay so I changed location because I had so many things that I was referencing and my desk was too small. And then when I'm over at my desk, it's right next to a window. And I'm always looking out the window when I see cars pass by or people pass by and I didn't want to be distracted. So I came into my kitchen on the island so that um, maybe I can stay more focused because this is a very important word. And um, daddy has entrusted me with the word and I just want to deliver it right. Um, this new dream thing, uh, uh, deciphering dreams and telling you all what, what, what dreams mean and stuff. This is all new to me, but my daddy is so skillful in all that he does. So let's get started because this is gonna be a long word. Y'all, if you see bags under my eyes, oops, that's my, I burnt myself. If you see bags under my eyes, just to give me a little bit, you know, just have grace for me in, in, in preparing this word, but um, I got a phone call that one of my childhood besties, I mean, that was what you call a real road dog. You seen her, you seen me, and just all the stuff we did together, you know, and um, it's just a just sad day, but, you know, I look at it as Good Friday, and um, anyway, so, yeah. Okay, so let's pray. Father, we just come before you and we say thank you. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Your grace is giving us Jesus and, his, and he is grace. His word is the good news, the gospel. He is the new commandment, of, commandment excuse me, of our life. We just say thank you, Father, that this word drops a seed in whatever you want it to do, it will do. And whoever is supposed to hear it, let them hear it. Let their hearts be healed. Let their minds be transformed. You said transformed by the renewing of the mind and to know that you love them. You love the LGBT community just as much as you love me and just as much as you love Jesus because you died for us all, Jesus, for all of us. And it is time that it is recognized. And Daddy, you said it's time. So here we go. Y'all, it's a little hot in my apartment, so I'm going to turn my fan on. So give me a minute. Give me a minute. It's hot, but it's still, I just don't think, hot enough to turn my uh, air on. Um, and I was fine until I came over here in this area. And then I got every light on that is reasonably possible over here so that I can make sure I can see and make sure I can deliver this in the way, hopefully, Daddy will be happy with the way I deliver it. Okay, all right, y'all, here we go. Please give me grace. It is a long word. Um, I've been working on it for two weeks. Um, as I'm working on it, I am learning to, and I am asking Holy Spirit to just flow through me. I mean, it may be some things I'm missing, it may be some things that he add, but whatever, um, that he do it. And you see my earrings, they are, in light of the rainbow and we'll you'll see why i say that now um and then i had to kind of brighten up this shirt that i'm just can't stop wearing so anyway let me start out why i do what i do because it is my passion and my purpose jesus is my purpose and my passion my life exists to be who he is on this earth so all I'm going to say about that. What I do, well, let me tell you this. This is what my daddy said. Father chose me for altruistic work for whom 
whenever he chooses. Now you might say, what is altruistic? I didn't know what it meant either. I had to go look it up. Altruistic means having or showing an unselfish concern for the welfare of others. The act of helping someone else, even if it comes at a steep personal cost. It is what it is. He said, he chose me for altruistic work for whomever he chooses. And I'm available. And okay, with that being said, let me move on to um, this word. Let me explain. This word is going to be a paradox. Okay, if you don't know what a paradox means, it's an opinion or statement um, contrary to commonly accepted opinion. Now, I look at this like a statement, ain't no opinion because ain't no opinion. Statement contrary to commonly accepted opinion. And when I say statement, it's derived from the Holy Spirit. Okay, and let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is a person. He's not some mystical floating entity around here. No, he lives inside of you. When you accept the Lord Jesus, that's who allows you to be Jesus. And what he does, he points everything toward Jesus. He never points anything to himself. Now, I appoint stuff to him, but then in turn, we're pointing it to Jesus because I can do nothing without the Holy Spirit. Nothing. I can't do anything. So, me and Holy Spirit, we work to point everything to our Lord and Savior. So, with that being said, I'm going to begin. Well, I've already kind of told you with who this video is for. This video is mainly for the LGBTQ community and everyone else. Now, let, let me back up. I looked at this earlier today and I was like, okay, daddy, let me, let me, I was looking at something and then I seen LGBTQIA, right? And I was like, I didn't know that was LGBTQIA. When you gave me this word um, back in July of 2021, matter of fact, it was July 21st of 2021. So I was like, I'm so out of it. I, I don't watch a lot of news and stuff, y'all. So it's good because then it's not me incorporate anything, incorporating anything of glories. So I did not know that it was LGBTQ. I, a. I did not know that. Um, I'm really glad I didn't know that because then I didn't have a chance to put any of me in it. So I just seen that like 35, 40 minutes before when I was start trying to prepare for doing this video. So anyway, this, let, let, me, let, me, let me tell y'all this. Let me explain to you the LGBTQ thing. Um, I was uh, studying one time and... As I was studying, you know, thinking about things, because let me tell you, I used to be very religious, judgmental, as, as, as a lot of Christian people can be. I'm just going to put it out there because this video is about truth and honesty. And um, I was like, okay, and Jesus never was judgmental. He was the one that could judge, and he judged you righteous. So, you know, it's like, okay, what are you saying, Daddy? He said... In this walk and in this journey, I'm the one who told you with Jesus and that's who you are. In this walk and in this journey, you let me be the questionnaire of people. You just love. You just love people. It's not your business. You let, you let me do that, right? And I was like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm good with that because see, by now, my heart has already been changed. That judgmental stuff was already gone. But he had to prepare me to get me to, to that, right? So I was like, no problem. He said, write it down. So I did. I wrote, let God be the questionnaire. So I said, is that what you wanted me to write? And he was like, yes. Okay. Then he said, now pull the first letter out. And I was like, pull the first letter out. And I'm not going to say I'm not the yellow crayon because I've been chastened by father for that. No, I'm not the yellow. I'm not the brown. I just am who I am. Sometimes I'm yellow. Sometimes I'm orange. Sometimes I'm brown. Sometimes I'm green. So anyway, he said, pull it out. So I pulled it out. And I was like, let God be the question. LGBTQ. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? He said, now rewrite it the way I want you to. Now you leave it at let God be the questioner for you. Now this is what I want you to write as far as the LGBT community is. 
Let God be there, T-H-E-I-R, there, that there is personal. There, queerest. I said, queerest? What the heck is a queerest? I said, look it up. Well, I looked it up and queerest is a person who asks questions. He said, leave God's business to the questionnaire and the queerest in dealing with LGBTQ. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, I know a person who asks questions, a questioner. He said, look it up. So a questioner is someone who asks questions, especially in an official or formal capacity to, dis to discover information about you as an individual rather than a group of people. Did y'all get that? A questioner, a querist for all of us. This is for all of us. Is someone who asks questions, especially in an official or formal capacity, to discover information about you as an individual rather than a group of people. Y'all catch that. Okay, so this morning, I mean, when I was getting ready and I looked, I was looking for something to put in here as an introduction, a flag or something like that. And he was like, no, you don't need all that dramatics. Just do what I told you to do. So when I seen LGBTQIA, I was like, oh my, I don't, daddy, you gave me LGBTQ. I don't know nothing about the IA. He said, but I do. I know all things. And I said, okay. So this is what he told me to add on here. Let God be their queerest in all plus. And I was like, what's all plus? He said, things. Y'all, my daddy's so amazing. Let God be their queerest in all plus things, all things. I was like, you so you. Anyway, y'all. So I just was like, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so anyway, that's what that means. And so now let me tell you this. Um, let me see. I try to label this stuff so that I can keep myself together. Okay. Now, what does the Bible say? What does Jesus say concerning questioning him? Questioning Jesus. Jesus said to them, I'll ask you a question. Answer me and then I'll tell you why I have the right to do these things. Mark eleven twenty nine. Follow me because I didn't know why he told me to look these up, but I did. Mark eleven twenty nine 29, in, um, that was in the God's word translation. translation. So let me tell you this. My translations will either be God's Word or New King James or the MacArthur English Standard Version Study Bible. Okay, it's going to be either the three, and I don't say them all on all of them, so you'll know if you got any question, you can go back and look, look them up, but it's going to be in one of those three translations. Then he had me look it up in the New King James Version, 9, 11, Mark 11, 29. But Jesus answered and said to them, I also will ask you one question. Then answer me. And I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Then he sent me to Mark eleven thirty three. Jesus told them, then I won't tell you why I have the right to do these things. Okay. Then he said, same Mark eleven twenty three in the New King James, Jesus answered. So they answered and said to Jesus, we do not know. And Jesus answered and said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I ask these questions. And that I do these things. Y'all following that? So I was like, well, what that, why you had me look those up? Because daddy said, when people ask you about this video or question you about this video, I gave you the word. He said, this is, this is what I say. This is what I am supposed to say. Father is saying about me answering people who question this word ask him ask daddy you got a question um you need to ask you need to ask daddy you need to ask him why or what or whatever because i'm not the one that's why he gave me jesus told them i won't tell you why because i have the right to do these things why under what authority my daddy's authority so if you got questions okay we settle with that then y'all ask daddy okay i'm just excited about this word I've been working on this word for a couple of weeks and I mean anyway 
So let me show you. Let me go here. What Father gave me on 11 6 21 while I was studying, Father had Holy Spirit tell me this to write down in my time with Him that morning, first to read Isaiah 9 and 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be up on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. So I was like, okay, after I read it, um, excuse me, y'all, after I read it, he gave me um, this to put in here. This is what he's saying to the LGBT community. Father is opening the hearts of those ones who have not heard the gospel of the good news, which is Jesus. Religion has opened their hearing to judgment and to sing to rejection. This is what Father said. Father is opening the heart of those ones who have not heard the gospel of the good news. Religion has opened their hearing only to judgment and seeing to rejection. I was like, oh, wow. Okay, daddy, okay. Then he gave me this. Now, if y'all hear this somewhere else, this straight off the press, this straight up to my daddy. He said, they who had no news shall see him they who have not heard shall understand him now that's profound daddy said they who had no news shall see him see jesus they who have not heard shall understand because religion has opened their hearing to only judgment and rejection and that ain't who jesus is he said healing of the mind is going to happen to transform life. Healing of the mind to transform life. Then he told me to read Proverbs 4, 20 through 23. 22, I think. I know it by heart, basically. But I always make it to me personally. I always say, my glory, give attention. But he's saying, my son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Okay, y'all, right there. Right there, right there. Um, basically, He's saying, hear him. Don't hear what somebody else saying. Don't hear what people tell you. Go to the word. Go see what he's saying to you. Build a relationship with him because religion has shut you out and made you think he hates you and all Christians hate you or you're not allowed, you know, here or there. I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, that's what he's saying in there. Now, to connect all of this, y'all, I had a dream in 2020 and exactly on 11 26 2020 now i didn't know i never really dreamed before so this was really sporadic so that day i had this dream when i woke up that morning he told me to write it down well actually as soon as i woke up he said write it down and you know i'm like get up and write it down okay i don't all right so i did and i wrote it in a journal and just put the journal back somewhere so i got like i don't know how many journals half written and all kind of stuff so anyway when he told me to do this word he told me to go find that particular dream okay guys so i went and found the dream and um i meant to have it up uh where is it at let me go to my drive 
So I went and looked up the word and um, I'm going to read, oh, well, I looked up the dream. I'm going to read to you all this dream and I'm going to interpret the dream after I read it of what Father says it means. Y'all, let me say this. Ain't no way I could have made this stuff up. I'm serious. It's no way I could have made this up. I just couldn't have come up with this stuff on my own. I really couldn't. So um, let me let me let me get the dream and let me read it to you. And this video, I try to condense it because I think some of the stuff was just for me um, also to know. Um, because it was just so overwhelming. I was like, Daddy, this is a lot. But anyway, here we go. The dream was November 26, 2020, okay? And this was during the pandemic. So this is what the dream was. The dream was at KC Ministries. But the visit was originally to Legacy in Colorado. Then I ended up in this dream back at KC Ministries. Robbie was there. It was some holiday. I had on a costume. Not sure what kind. There was food to be served. And there was a big, pretty, good-looking cake that was being cut up by a lady and served and put on a plate and served and put on plates. Groups were separated into four sections and I was left alone in the middle of these groups who each had tips over each group. When I noticed I was alone, I went and tried to sit in a tent but couldn't find a chair suitable or available for me to sit in here. The last tent I entered they offered and found me a chair. There was a lady in there teaching Bible study. I woke up. That was the end of the dream. So I wrote it down and I'm like, what in the world? What? So I was obedient. I wrote it down, went on about my way. Now I'm going to try to go fast because I want to explain it and I don't want to be too long, but I got to do what daddy said. Okay, so let's back up. In this dream, I was at KC Ministries. KC Ministries, Ministries is a, is, is a church. KC is Kenneth Copeland. Now, understand this. This is a dream and he uses whatever he wants. Sometimes, like my name, Glory, got 50 million ways it can be used in meanings in the Strong's Concordance or in the, because um, I've been using the Vines and Expository, Expository Dictionary and the, um, and the, uh, Strong's and the word and either the King James, New King James version, or like I told you, the MacArthur English Standard Study Bible version, or either God's Word version. Okay, so back to this. The dream was at KC Ministries. K is for Kenneth. His name is Kenneth. Looking it up in the Greek Strong's concordance and, and and in the strongest concordance there's greek and hebrew and he had me going through them both until he told me what to use so i had to look up translate translations like 17 before i got to what he wanted like with glory it was just he's so meticulous anyway kenneth means in greek abba which equals what it means father it's number five in the greek concordance Five is what? Grace. Jesus is five means grace. Okay. Now, the dream was at KC Ministry, but the visit was originally at Legacy Ministries in Colorado. Legacy Ministries is Kenneth's grandson. That's his legacy, right? His grandson. If you hear his grandson talk or whatever, he say he followed in the footsteps of his grandfather ever since he was a child or whatever. But that is not, the, the purpose here is for what God is using it for. Kenneth means Abba Father, Legacy Ministry. Who is, who is Father's Legacy? Jesus. So I was at, originally at Legacy, 
where Jesus was. But then I ended up back at KC Ministry. Okay, although legacy is his, but he's saying legacy was straight up Jesus. I mean, straight up grace, what it needed to be. But I ended back up at KC Ministries, which was, in other words, no grace. I mean, under law. Okay, so. It says, Robbie was there. It was some holiday. Okay, Robbie is my sister, y'all. And Robbie derives from German, which means bright fame. Her name in Hebrew is Zohar, which means splendor or radiance. Or it could mean in Hebrew, Robert or Reuben, which means see all the sun. I make it, I can't make this up. And I'm like, what? The son was there. Who is the son? Jesus was there in all of his bright frame and his radiance and his glory. See all the sun, right? Well, Robbie was there. It was some holiday. Well, I look up holiday. Holiday is basically festival. And in Hebrew, that means celebrating. This festival he has had me look up was the Passover. What is it now, right now, y'all? Today is Good Friday. And I'm recording this on Friday because he want me to put it out tomorrow before the Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> okay. It was the holiday. It was Passover, right? Um, Passover. Sacrifice. We must... Okay, well, actually, I'm reading not the actual scriptures. He had me read in the um you know the writing the, the 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 description of the of the of the um the verses okay it says passover sacrifice we must get rid of all malice and wickedness which characterize our former life the rest of life is to be lived in christ like sincerity and truth what is jesus truth okay so this was this was it was it was fame it was bright it was a uh, radiance which is robbie it was see all y'all see the sun it's a holiday it's passover which is this weekend and how befitting that he would make this um this weekend i'm getting hot again y'all this word is making me hot it's so good it's just it's just really making me hot okay and when i start doing stuff sometimes i get hot with the word it just started blowing me away. Okay. So, Robbie was there. Y'all get that. And it was a holiday, Passover, whatever. I had on a costume. Who am I in this dream? I, my name is Glory. In this dream, I had on a costume. I represent Jesus. I was Jesus in this. Okay. Right before, Robbie was there at this Passover. It was fame, it was festival, it was Passover. I was there. Jesus was there. How how he's using my name, glory, in this is concordance in Greek. It is the act of the Father in him. This glory is the act of the Father in him. As the revelation of the Holy Spirit is connected with the glorification of Christ. What did I tell you what the Holy Spirit does? He glorifies Christ. I am in this dream, in the costume. I'm God. I mean, I'm Jesus. Okay. Now, this is what's really going to trip y'all out. Okay. In that, let me go to this other part. Um, In this other part, he used my name as glory in... Um, he told me to read Romans 3, 21 through 26. The title is this, The Righteousness of God Through Faith. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law. It's been manifested apart from the law. Although the law and the prophets bear witness to it, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood 
to be received by faith. Because God's righteousness is eternal, the one who receives it from him enjoys it forever. Okay, y'all following me? I hope y'all follow me. Okay, so glory is what I, I represent Jesus. And in this dream, glory is representing Jesus. And I have on a costume, right? Okay, the costume... I couldn't find in, 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 in the Strongs and stuff, but he gave me a costume, so to speak, like, remember in the Bible when Joseph's brothers came to him in Egypt and they didn't recognize him? They didn't recognize who he was, but he still, because Joseph is a type of Christ in the Bible. He's a, he's a type of, 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 of Christ. So Joseph represents Christ who was in a costume and his brothers didn't know him, but they didn't see, they was looking at the outer appearance, right? Okay, now, looking at Jesus, right? He was God, but he was wrapped in an earth suit as a man. He had on a costume, so to speak, as a man. I am represented in this thing as Jesus, but I got on, my costume was, it means, not so much overwhelmingly beauty as a combination of physical attractiveness and social position. Thus, glory means not so much overwhelmingly beauty or as a combination of physical attractiveness and social position. So I was Jesus in this dream and I had on a costume and the costume is people are looking at my outside, basically phys physical appearance, my social status, or what I look like. They weren't seeing who I really was. They were looking on the outside. They were judging me from my outer appearance. Okay? Okay. Now, y'all got that. Okay. Now, there was food to be served, and there was a big, pretty, good-looking cake that was being cut by a lady and put on plates. Okay? So... In the Greek concordance, it says there was food, right? Food in the Greek strongs is food, okay? Now, I looked at the Vines Expository Dictionary, and food is what? The word of God is always rendered as food, okay? There was food being served. That means the word Jesus was being served, the word was being served. Okay, food in, in the um, Hebrew concordance is food as in the general term for all nourishment. In the word, uh, Paul is saying to the, I think it's the Corinthians, how um, he's feeding them food to eat. Okay, Food is considered, you can have mature, or you, they say meat is for mature Christians. Milk is for new beginners Christians, right? Well, this lady was serving, there was food. She was serving milk for the mature. I mean, I mean milk for the babe. She was serving uh, meat for the, for the mature. She was just giving you the word of God. She wasn't filtering it. She wasn't putting any stipulations on it. She was telling you how Jesus was and how he is. That's all she was doing, giving you straight up food, no additives or no law, just straight up grace, okay? Um, and it was being served. Served means, I'm looking now in the um, vines again, served means she was ministering to the guests. More definitely in connection with such service as in a local church, okay? She was serving um, she served this food and it was served to people as a like in, 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 in the local church. Okay. That's what served me. Y'all know when somebody being served. Okay. She was serving, up the word because when you, 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 you get the word, it's, um, it should be able to be eaten by mature. I mean, everybody should really be able to understand it. It shouldn't be big you know, words and everything that's got people confused, be able to feed people. Food is um, the necessity for the substance of life, the word of God. The word is Jesus. Okay. Now, it was a um, big, pretty, good-looking cake, right? In the Strong's 4580, in the Strong's, it means the Hebrew word, 
is a cake of bread at a feast. I just told y'all it was at a feast. Cake is Jesus. Uh, in the in the in the vine, um, metaphorically, cake is Christ as the bread of God and of life. That's what cake means. So she was serving up this big beautiful cake, and he is beautiful and in all his glory. Okay, John six thirty three, which I know by heart. Um, but let's go there and make sure. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. She was serving this big cake, which is the bread of God is who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Okay, so this cake was for the world, for everybody. It was Jesus, right? Okay, it was being cut by a lady, right? Now, lady, let me go to lady. Um, lady in the Greek concordance is number 2959, which means lady is referencing to the church. Okay, so, and, 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 and so when I looked it up in the vines, the person is one who had a special relation with the local church. A special relation. What is relation? That's a short of relationship. Had a relationship. God and uh, uh, Jesus, God, they're not religion. Jesus is not religion. It's a relationship. Father won't say relation, a relationship. And that's what lady is mean, a relationship with the local church. Then he told me, okay, now go and read John. Second John 1 and 5. Second John 1 says, to the elect lady and her children, the children are, 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 are God's people, um, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all those who have known the truth. Because of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. This is Paul addressing them. Okay, and in 5, the heading is walk in love. And now I plead with you, Lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. From the beginning, what they heard was to love one another is the un changing commandment enabled by saving and keeping grace we are to walk in it God's other commandments show us how to carry out the great command to love this lady y'all was serving Jesus on these uh 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 on these plates, right? What is a plate? A plate is a dish used for serving food. Simple as that. It's just a dish. And it is appropriate for all food. Ain't Jesus appropriate for everybody? Not only adult, he, he appropriate for babies. Yes, Jesus loves me. That's the first song you sing. I wrote about that in my book. Oh yeah, my book is all about me, the spiritual journey. It's on Amazon. I might as well plug that in. So anyway, Okay, so we got with the church, the food, the ladies. Okay, then it says groups were separated into four sections and I was left alone in the middle of these groups who each had like tents over each group. Groups signify church, churches, father's houses. Remember I told you that Benny Casey Ministries was father's house. It was Abba's house. Legacy was grace, Jesus. Old Testament um, law was this 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 KC ministry. So groups were is, is considered churches and fathers' houses. It said they were separated into four sections. Four sections is saying denominations. They were separated into denominations, and the four mean the four corners of the earth: north, east, south, and west. If you understand or look up what four means biblically, it means four corners of the earth representing north east south and west so uh, and, and if you go north east south and west you didn't 
You got the whole world, right? And what are we all, all separated into? Denominations, denominations. And I'm not even going to get into that, but into the denominations. Where was I? I was left. Remember, I'm Jesus. I was left alone in the middle of these groups who each had tents over them. I was left alone representing. I was out there in the wind, just out there by myself while they all were in tents, right? And it says, I was out there in the winds. Winds are blowing. Check this out, what he told me winds is. Words involve new directions starting. I was out there with words that involve new directions starting, but I had nowhere to go. I was just out there in the middle. I'm Jesus out there with nowhere to go with these new words. Okay, then he told me, look at winds and take the D out. And I was like, okay. He said, take the D out, which is the devil. And I said, okay. I took it out. It's W-I-N-S. <laughs> you get it with Jesus out there to win. He had words to involve new directions for starting new lives and you gonna win. Get the devil out of there. Get them denominations out of there. You go win. If you go with Jesus and you hear the grace of Jesus, his grace is sufficient for all. Okay, I get excited. Okay, go on. That's what that meant. Okay. Now, groups were separated into four sections, and I was left alone in the middle. I told you in the wind. And these groups, they each had tents over their churches. Okay, I look up tent, and I'm like, okay, it's just a tent. He said, look it up. Said, okay, daddy. Tents. There's four kinds of tents. The A-frame tents, a pyramid tent, a hoop tent, and dome tents. I'm like, huh? He said, what is the new churches that's being built? They're domes. <laughs> A-frame. <laughs> I can't make this up. Pyramid tents. You got churches that look like, you know, a okay, that's what Okay, that's what these tents are. According to capping rules, the most important part is properly caring for your tent because they may become so dirty with sap, mud, and gunk that will require a complete cleaning. <laughs> Y'all get that? These churches are requiring a complete cleaning. It's so gunked up with sap, mud, and gunk that it is, but who was standing out there that had nowhere to go out in the wind? But these churches are requiring a complete cleaning. How's that gonna happen? Allowing the Lord's name to be in there. Teach about grace. Quit teaching the law. Quit teaching people what they don't need to do and don't. No, 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 no. Welcome them. Welcome them in. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Okay. When I noticed I was alone and I went and tried to sit in a tent but couldn't find a chair suitable or available. Okay? I'm Jesus now. I noticed I was alone and I went and I tried to sit in these churches with tents. I tried to sit in a tent but couldn't find a chair suitable or available. Okay, I was like, okay, daddy, he said I was alone and tried to sit in a group, but couldn't find a chair suitable or available. He said, okay, what is a chair? I said, a place to sit or rest upon. Exactly. A place for me to come in and find rest. I could not find one sufficient. He said, I looked up suitable. He said, use sufficient. So, with sufficient, I looked it up in the Strong's Concordance, and the number is 2425, which references, if you go look in the Concordance, you will see it take you to root words, which is a compound of this word. So it took me to 2421. What it means is sufficient. I couldn't find a place sufficient where I could bring life or cause people to live. To live is more than physical life. But spiritually, I couldn't find nowhere sufficient. If you go and also in Hebrews 24, in the Hebrews Concordance, 24, 21 equals 2, 3, 3, 1, which means to declare or show. I, 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 
couldn't find anywhere I couldn't find anywhere to sit or was sit available for me to come in to declare and to show who I was, who my love is, what I was about. I, I, I couldn't find it anywhere. So he sent me to Isaiah 57 and 15. Okay, Isaiah 57 and uh, 15. For thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. <laughs> I can't make this up, y'all. Okay. So, because he could not find a chair suitable available, they would not allow him in. Okay. Basically, what he's saying is, in these, in these, in these, in these, in these um, ministries or these these groups, which were churches, he tried to come in. He tried. He. Jesus is not being taught as is the grace of God. Grace is not being taught. People are so stuck in the law and the Old Testament, which is Jesus. It's just a shadow of who was to come, who came, and he's given us new commandments. Love thy neighbor as, they, I, as, as I love you, as I love thyself, and love as, as he loved the church. I might be bogging it up, but sorry, y'all got hair in my mouth. Okay, okay, now, okay, the last tent I entered, they offered and found me a chair. There was a lady teaching Bible study. Y'all, this one, this one, okay, okay. Oh, Lord, okay. The last tent, church tent, I entered. Entered in the Greek is 1525, which literally means to go in, to enter, to come in. And 1519, I came in and entered, and they were in one mind, of one mind, okay? They offered and found me a chair. Offer, what do you do when you offer somebody something? You 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 invite them in, you you welcome them in, you tell them, come on, you're welcome here, come on. They offered me a chair. What that means is they offered me a chair, they offered me somewhere to sit. They allowed me to come in where I could be, even though I had on this costume, they didn't look at the costume. They 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 they, they didn't look at the outer appearance. They looked at the Jesus. They looked at the love. They looked at what was in me, not what was outside of me. And the lady teaching Bible study is what? Bible study is the good news, the gospel, grace. The lady was teaching Bible study. Okay, y'all? So, okay, y'all. Let me sum this up real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. What he's saying in this dream is that we have KC Ministries is 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 representing houses of God and and the groups represented church that they are in four sections that and which meant the whole world. We're den we're separating churches into the denominations. God ain't a denomination. Jesus, the people in the beginning of in the Acts, they were called people of the way. It's not about a denomination. It's about the love of Jesus. He wants a relationship with you. He don't want religion. And what has happened with the LGBT community? If you talk to a lot of LGBTQ people, they will say, oh, Christians don't like us. They don't like us. I mean, I understand that. I do. Because I've heard it myself. I've heard it. When God forgave me and I got a relationship with him, you got to put all that religion mess alone. God is the questionnaire. He just wants you to love. Let me tell you something. It ain't my business. My channel is not to come on here and tell anybody you sent in this one. That's somebody else's channel. My channel is to let you know that God loves you. He loves you just like he loves Jesus LGBTQIA community. He don't hate you. 
He does not hate you in one inch. And you've been given stuff where in the beginning, where Father said that um, religion has opened their hearing, their, T-H-E-R, their hearing to judgment and to seeing nothing but rejection. He said he don't reject you. He got open arms. He received you. And you see the lady with the big cake. When he, the last tent he entered, they offered and found him a chair. There was a lady in there teaching Bible study. Remember in the beginning, the lady was serving the cake. She was serving food. She was serving meat. She was serving the word for anybody, everybody. She was giving food to everybody. She was passing out place. That's the way it's supposed to be. Y'all, I couldn't come up with this. I had this dream in 2020. Had no idea what it meant. None at all. I didn't know what this meant. And let me tell you, what he's saying is... He loves y'all. I love y'all. Come to my channel. My channel ain't about judging nothing. If it's something wrong, he'll tell you. He'll tell you just like he told me. When it's something that he wants me to stop doing, he'll tell me. And there's some things that I may do that I won't share because, you know, because of the religious minds. And you'll probably look at me like, oh, Lord, she ain't saved. Now, because I would have thought that when I was under religion. I'd have thought that about some things about my own life now. And I'll just say even one. I, when I was when I was under religion, you can't drink nothing. You can't drink no glass of wine. You going to hell. That ain't nothing but stupid religion, y'all. Daddy said, leave the LGBT community alone. They are his, just like I'm his. And to keep them out of the church, that's so wrong. That's what it meant by. All the groups were divided into sections and they had tents. It was like tents covering it. But those tents were full of mud, gunk, sap. Because they're so busy condemning people and telling people who they are and they go into hell and all this stuff. You couldn't, he, Jesus couldn't even get in there for all the gunk. Y'all, he's saying, leave them alone. And I'm getting ready to try. I, I was thinking about doing the other part of this that he gave me about the rainbow but i'm already at an hour but you know what daddy just said to me just now if somebody want to hear it they'll listen now let me go real quick about the rainbow <sighs> you know the lgbt community ia i ain't no ia community um use the rainbow as their flag and their color or whatever right <laughs> let me say what he said he said, who said the rainbow is only for Christians? He said, why? Why? According to Genesis 9, 9, this is what he said. As for me, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you. That was what the rainbow was. I am going to make my promise to you and your descendants. Okay, isn't LGBTQ uh, descendants? Aren't they God's people? He says in Genesis 9, 13 through 15, in, K, in New King James Version, I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the promise I am making to all life on earth. So, Father said, why they can't? He gave them permission. Yeah, he did. He gave them permission. They don't even realize that he gave them permission. But he did. He ain't got a problem with them using the rainbow. No, he don't. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to go through this real quick. In in, in 111.21, right? I'm telling you, y'all, I, 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 I don't have the knowledge for this stuff here that he gave me. I, I Okay, let me give you this dream he gave me, January 11, 2021. Not knowing even then what it meant, but I wrote it down because he told me to. Now he's going to interpret it for us, and it's concerning the rainbow. Simple dream. Here it is. 
This was my dream. Still not knowing that I could dream. On January 11, 2021, this was a dream. James gave me a gift just because. He just gave me a gift just because. It was a sapphire and diamond necklace with earrings. Also, he gave me a gold charm of some sort layered with things layered on it. Charms layered. We were married and Jasmine was there. I woke up. That's in the dream. That was all. <coughs> Y'all, I can't make this up. Y'all heard the dream. I don't, it don't even make sense to me. Okay, let me tell you what God gave me about this dream. Okay. Rainbow in the Greek is 2036. It means to speak or say a word or by writing. 2046 is in the Greek concordance. It means to call, tell, or utter. This is what a rainbow means. Number 4483 means pouring forth. Rainbow meaning pouring forth. 4482 to flow. Use figurative, figuratively in pouring. Now, let me go with the dream. James gave me a gift just because. James was my ex-husband. James gave me a gift just because. James name mean in the Greek, the name of three. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Also, because there's different meanings and he'll give you the one that he needs you to use for this particular dream, for whatever particular dream. When you give somebody something, you hand it to them, you give it to them, right? James gave me a gift. A gift is something given willingly to someone without payment, a present. And um, the Strong's Concordance is number 5486, and it means to grant as a favor, kindness, uh, graciously in kindness, pardon, or to rescue, forgive, freely give, deliver, grant. Frankly give. Frankly forgive. Okay? James gave me a gift just because. It was a sapphire and diamond necklace. Okay. A sapphire in the Hebrew is 5601, which just means sapphire, right? Sapphire means truth, correctness, and honesty. A sapphire is well known in the color blue. And blue represents the ocean, the sky, throne of God, the blue. But it can come in many colors. The sapphire come in many colors, okay? But it's well known in blue, but it comes in many colors. But the blue is associated with the heavens, okay? Um, if we go to uh, Psalms 56 and 8, okay. You number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? In Hebrew, uh, sapphire also means number 5608, meaning taking account of or being aware and concerned about each detail of thou tillest my wanderings. Didn't you hear that? That was, that was, that was what I just read. You number my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? Okay, in the concordance part two, he had me do 5608. That's in the uh, Hebrew. It means, very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. For to show in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Intent stem means to exhibit, to recount, or list in detail by being a living example. Okay, that's the sapphire. Okay, now, and he gave me a sapphire and diamond necklace, okay? Diamond in the concordance means to hedge, 
okay? I know a diamond is usually, it's protected. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very precious stone and it's usually a hedge around it, right? You gave me a sapphire and diamond necklace. In the concordance, 8104 is diamond. It means to protect, to attend to, a watchman. It means light, life, the sun, which equals the way, the truth, and the life. Who is the way, the truth, and the life? The way is the sun. I told you light, life, the sun. Light is the truth. Life is the life. Sun is the way, is the sun. The way, the truth, and the life. This and most valuable precious stone. You ever heard diamond in the rough? Okay, he gave me a sapphire and diamond necklace. Where does a necklace go? Around the neck. So I was looking up necklace and I couldn't find necklace. And I was like, but I can't find necklace. He said, no, where does a necklace go? What can it do? It can yoke you. Your yoke. It can choke you. A yoke. Okay? So he told me to look up yoke. Yoke is in the Greek concordance 2086. It means to associate discordantly, to yoke up differently. To yoke up means to choke up differently to associate discord. What is discordantly? Discord, you associate discord. He told me to go to Matthew 11, uh, 25 through 30, okay? I got that one, I remember I need to put that one out. Um, Matthew 11, 25 through 30 is come to me and I will give you rest. That's what the scripture heading is. At the time Jesus declared, I thank you Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to the little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Okay? Okay, he gave me a sapphire and diamond necklace with earrings. Earrings is a, in the Hebrew is 5696, and it means something round for the ears. Um, Hebrews 3908, to whisper a private prayer. Where do the earrings go? When I was showing y'all earrings, where do they go? They go in my ear. What does my ear do? It hears. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing comes by the word of God. Where do you hear at? You can hear in the, see, he connects these things. He can, you hear in the first part I told y'all in the churches. You hear in the church, but if you're being not allowed to be in the church, then you can't hear. Okay? Okay, so now he gave me a gold charm with things layered on it. Um, gold is something that is refined. It is, it is found and it is molded and it is refined and it's come out shiny and pretty and everybody desires gold, right? In Hebrew 2091, uh, he gave me Hebrews 30, I mean, Job 23, 10. Uh, Job 23, 10. Okay. Okay, for earring two, y'all, he gave me Job... 42.5. Let's do that one first because I missed it. This is what he said with earrings, ear. I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. And when your eyes see him, that's with your heart. Now my eyes see him. This rainbow, y'all looking at it all crazy? See him. When you look at the rainbow, we know gave us the rainbow. So when you see the rainbow, you see him. Father said, why they can't? Yes, they can. They see him. And all of us fall short. Not just one person, everybody. He loves everybody. Okay, give me back, okay, the gold. Okay. Charms, I told you he gave me a gold, gold charm with layers. 
When I looked up layers, I couldn't find layers, but he gave me charmers, charms, layer. That means it was a bunch of charmers. Charmers in the Greek is 3907. It means a tentative watching. Now, when I say we were married and Jasmine was there, that was the end of the dream. We means me and James. James means the number of three, the number of three, the number of three individuals, individually one. That's in my book. And you can understand what individually one means. Individually one is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We were married. James meaning three. Because glory, if you look up in, in the concordance, glory is like two or three pages. We means James, which means three in this instance. And it means someone, and it's also meaning someone who seizes, which means someone who connects, who, who takes hold of. Glory, we, meaning me and him, were married. Glory, my glory, he, he, he seizes you, he, he, he refines you, uh, and, your, and his glory shows the weight of his glory, okay? And we were married. What is married? Marriage is a covenant. We all know that. When you marry somebody, you're in covenant with him. We were married. He said he has a covenant. He has a covenant. Well, what are we? We the bride. Jesus is the bridegroom. We were married. We were married to Jesus. Okay. Um, also, he said, because we are married, the, 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 the name of the three father, son, me and James were married. And the glory also is the weight of his word, the weight of himself. He is married himself to us. He is married to us. We are his, we are his bride, right? Yes, because he's the bridegroom. Okay. He, and, and then he gave me um, in the Greek 76, 23 to address in a loud tone as if by words. What he's saying, I am letting you know in a loud tone by words that I have a covenant with the world. Okay. It says, and Jasmine was there. Jasmine is our daughter. But in this dream, Jasmine's name represents rebirth, hope, resurrection, when is resurrection? Tomorrow. Resurrection depicted in the resurrection of Jesus. Jasmine's name means God's gift. God is abundance. Okay, to wrap this up real quick, y'all. That was a simple dream. James, James gave me a gift just because. What did Jesus? He's a, he's a gift. We don't, we don't have to earn him. We, it's not about our behavior. It's not about no sins. Because see, your sins is forgiven past, present, and future. You let God deal with you. And if there's things you don't need to do, form that relationship. He'll tell you, trust me. He will tell you. You don't need me to tell you. Go to the word and let God figure it out for you. Because let me tell you something. God told me there's going to be people who smoke, homosexuals, adulterers. They're going to be in heaven. My daddy told me this. He said, they're going to be in heaven. And some of these people that's in these churches, not letting people come into God's house because of well, how anybody go hear the word if they can't come in. Some of these people, you're not even going to see there. So he gave me a gift just because he gave me, it was a sapphire and diamond necklace and earrings, diamonds are, 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 are in the rough. It was different colors, a, a sapphire, the rainbow, different colors. He gave it to me as a gift. He gave it to me just because he gave me the earrings just to hear, It's to hear. You should be able to hear the word of God. That rainbow, y'all looking at it like, oh, they did no, they're not doing anything with the rainbow. Do you know that's a covering? That's God's covering over them. He had to cover them. The churches is not letting them come in to hear anything if they need to hear it. And if they need to change, God to do that. Not you. Not you or me. Okay? And um, Jasmine was there. He's saying it's a rebirth. It's hope. It's a resurrection going on. There's going to be people in the LGBTQIA community that have such a relationship with the Lord. That's why Jesus couldn't do many miracles in his hometown because they were looking at, that's Joseph's son. He ain't nobody but a carpenter. That's all he is because they're looking at the outer appearance. Leave that alone. That ain't your business. Let God be the questionnaire. Let God be the questioner. Let God be the querist. Not me, not you. 
I know this word may be hard for some people, but I tell you what, there is no problem with the LGBTQ community using the rainbow. Use the rainbow, y'all. That ain't nothing but God's covering. Let him form a relationship with you. All I'm saying is I can't make this stuff up. I may have jumbled it or whatever. Please try to pull out the seeds. That Those of you that have a religious mind, get out of it. I'm telling you, get out of it. It's time out for that. Because see, my ministry is the streets. Mainly, I'm going to be out here hanging out with people. Ain't that what Jesus did? I ain't got nothing to judge nobody for. Nobody. And I can be talked about. You can talk about me on this channel. Uh, she, she, she condoning this. You, can, you go talk to daddy. He said, if anybody got a question, tell them to ask him. Ask my daddy. Y'all, this was a word that's so good. I'm telling you, I've been working on this word. And I know it's long, but it's good. So look, I love y'all. Daddy loves you more than you know, LGBT community. I <laughs> I'm going to get it plus. So what do you tell me? Let God be their queerest in all plus things. I love y'all. He love y'all. And you welcome to this channel. As soon as I get something going, <laughs> come on. Come on in the house and hear the word. Come on here by Jesus because he ain't nothing but love. And if it's something he needs to tell you, let him tell you. Let him straighten it out between you and him. Not everybody else. Because see, God is love. And I'm going to throw this in there real quick. Ellen DeGeneres got the kindest heart. He don't hate her. He love her. She got more of a heart than G of Jesus than a lot of people because she give, give, give. What did Father do? He gave. Hmm. Y'all believe people alone? And start loving people and let that be.